Welcome back to Will's Mickey Mouse 101 Intro to Audio Engineering. There's nothing wrong we with just... my audio. Oh, sorry. I just forgot to hit record on the last episode. <laughs> We're good, though, because I backtracked. A fairly large mistake. Yeah, we there were some pretty good jokes about stalking Sam that we really enjoyed. Yeah, I made some, some admissions. Yeah. Anyway, fuck it. Here we are. Doesn't matter. We're here now. We're killing robots. We're spanking ro- uh, We're spanking automatons. Sam finally admitted his feelings for robots. <laughs> Boy, you missed it, people. Anyway, labor is freedom, labor is progress. <laughs> remember, remember that, expectant mothers. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Because that's what they call it. Yep. Have you read The Bell Jar? I have. There's a part in there that you may or may not remember where she talks to or about a woman who had a child. Yes. And was talking about the insane pain and how they gave her uh, some drug procedure, like an epidural or right. whatever, so that she would forget... Well, obviously that helps at the time, but also so she would forget the pain and therefore be receptive to having a second child. Jeez. Which, you know, the book is about a woman who's depressed. Right. And Written of course, by a woman who was depressed. By a woman who's depressed, yeah. So you know that's some reliable narrator. Yeah, and the character... The character wasn't supposed to be Sylvia Plath, right? Or was it? Well, I mean, it wasn't autobiographical, but right. it was, you know, depressed by depressed, for depressed. I, yeah, I always get the feeling reading it that, like, the character was supposed to be, like... Oh, hold on. Augment. Aug what the fuck? Napalm Trooper. Well, at least there's no poo. I don't know. I got I got the feeling defeat Napalm Pooper. I got the feeling reading it that it was supposed to be herself, kind of like a Kilgore Trout situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I think that's right. Anyway, I thought that was that was kind of like a, oh god, it seems kind of right. Yeah. This moment where you're like, oh, don't worry, you got just the women will just forget how bad it hurts to rocket a human out of your crotch. Yeah. And then they'll be fine to do it again, because it was also I think in a very like you know situation where the woman has to go through all this and the man is just like, all right, you're going to raise that, right? Right, yeah. So, men, why don't you take Why don't you wear role? an empathy belly? Because then you'll feel exactly what it's like to be pregnant. No, why don't you just squeeze something out of your penis? I know, that's, that's the joke. We had to do that in home ec, you'll You had remember. to squeeze something out of your penis? <laughs> yeah, I went to a weird school. You went to a different school than I did, yeah, so. Um, no, what we I, just had to carry an egg around for a week. Oh, did you really? We didn't have Something to. Like we that. didn't have to. Do that. We had robot babies that we had to oh, carry robot around, babies, and yeah. they had like, they knew if they were tampered with or dropped or something like that. We had to be really careful with them. Yeah. Um, I, I came to resent mine in the same way I would resent a child. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, no. That was an important lesson. That was it. The thing is, they had this experiment that they made guys do, where they had to wear an empathy belly. Have you no, I didn't have heard to do of that. those. Yeah, I have heard of it. They're weighted stomachs that they wear so that they they have to pretend they're pregnant. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, now I know what the pregnant experience is like. Wearing this rubber thing and on my stomach. And you don't. I know, that's the idea. <laughs> that's why it's so silly. It's yeah. like... Boy, this, yep, that was heavy. I feel real empathetic about having to wear this around all day. Good I, thing nothing split my legs open. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a little silly. Like tearing a pillowcase. Ugh. Yeah. That's a bad visual. Yeah. If I ever have, I've got my parenting model all figured out if I'm ever unfortunate enough to have kids. Yeah. I'm going to, um, all the parenting will be done with a five iron named re-education. Okay. Okay. And if they fuck up, they're like, well, it's time for your re-education. Go get re-education. We're like, I don't want the five iron again. Then you should have learned. Hey, Sam. I'm also not going to teach my kids to have hopes, dreams, or aspirations. That's smart. Yeah, because that way, if they have any and achieve them, it'd be like, holy shit! I did this thing that I would not have expected. I need to go back to this five iron thing. I need to ask a question about it. Oh, yeah, sure. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? What? I believe in, uh, you know, spare the rod, spoiled child. That's terrible. I don't know. I'm not about <laughs> kid hitting. I'm not a hero. I'm not either. I don't have any kids. Yeah, <laughs> really <laughs> brave stance to take. I'm not either. I hate that I have any uh, qualms about making the joke and not qualifying it. Yeah, well... Don't, don't hit your kid. Right, Rick, don't... <laughs> don't smother your kids. Yeah. <laughs> Come home from a hard day at work, talk to the wife, smother the kids. God, that was such a good joke. Yeah, that was gold. If, if, you more haven't seen, you know. if you're watching this and you haven't seen Scrubs, stop watching this and go watch Scrubs. And then don't smother your kids. Yeah. You got a golf club laying around, though. I mean, I cut the head off. Of the golf club. The golf club. 
You hit your so what would you do? What would you, what would you do with it? Oh, you know, just whack them across the knuckles <laughs> with it. <laughs> in the, well, it depends on which with uh, with which part of their body they transgressed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Don't worry, I'll play sports before I do it. You're a bad person. I know. No, I'm not a bad person. I've never actually beaten a child. But you readily would. No, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, not other people's kids. Oh, it's acceptable to hit your own kid, I guess. Yeah, isn't it? No. Oh, God, I'm so behind. I know. This world is hard to live in. You keep changing the rules. Faster than I can learn them. <laughs> you're, not allowed, if you're not allowed to hit your kids. How are you going to stop them from voting Democrat? <laughs> People are always trying to get their hands on my money! Ugh. That was not a political statement. I just... Not a specific one, anyway. There's this, uh, show... <laughs> Man, that thing really doesn't want me on yeah. the wall. No, go, no, go away! Stop! Um, there's this show that my friends and I would watch in, uh, college, and there was a drinking game that went along yeah. to it. It was ten short episodes, so it was an, only about an hour long, so it made a perfect game. Right. And there's a... There's a character in there, you know, he's a really rich executive, right? and he's got a, a young trophy wife who's uh, an attorney, and uh, <laughs> she's constantly trying to get him worked up. What is this? I'm sorry. It's I... called Horrible People. Okay. Uh, you haven't seen it, but I'll show it to you sometime. It's really funny. And uh, he'll, you know, he'll go like, people are always trying to get their hands on my money, and then he'll like clutch his chest, and she goes... Rex, are you okay? And she's got this really happy... You know, right, yeah. Like, <laughs> you're not feeling faint and uncomfortable, are you? With both hands rubbing together. <laughs> it was funny. It sounds funny. It was. And it made, made a oh good... Oh my god, we got to the hard part, I forgot. Yeah, we got to the Red Guard. We got to the Emperor's special troops. Uh... Yeah. So, uh... You yes. ninja around here often? No, I haven't. Hey, I have an idea. Yeah, what's that? I don't actually have one. I'm sorry. I was gonna go somewhere. What, what with, the fuck? I was gonna go somewhere with that, but I want to save it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it was gonna be the thing that I told you about earlier, but it's not right because Sean's not here. Oh, oh God! <laughs> He's back. <laughs> go away! Get off my wall! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to tell you about this earlier. There's people in Portland. Yeah. <laughs> There's a 911 call. Their cat trapped them in their bedroom. <laughs> which, you may, on, which you may on. recognize hold as on. an impossible scenario. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I have so, that Please, raises yeah, so many yeah. more questions. I know that this is going to just evolve into your Toxoplasma Gandhi thing. <laughs> um, but no, I, it's not. I need to, it is, but I need to know more. Yes. How? Oh, oh my god! Stop it! Stop you know, it! They, they like they have a kid. It's a man and a woman, a fully grown adult male and female right. human. Right. You know they're not like pygmies or elves. <laughs> and uh, they have a kid, and this cat, I guess, just got. T they they weren't bringing it its food fast enough, or I don't know. Um, and it was just like scratching. It was either scratching them or biting them. Because those are the two things that cats... It didn't pull a gun on them. Right. But there was a 911 call where they are in their bedroom and they're saying to the person on the other end, our cat has trapped us in our bedroom How? and we can't get out. And they, you can hear the cat like... How did it trap them? I, I don't know, but I hope a cat tries to trap me anywhere sometime. <laughs> then you'll, you'll be with... It'll be like... like murder, it'll right? be the uh, Kill Bill thing where it zooms on me and the cat like... Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. And then I'll just kick this fucking cat all the way across wherever it is that we are. Right. It's like, you know, you ever read, like, justice porn stories on the internet? Like, yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that would work. But that's what that story was like to me. Like, God, I wish that cat would just try, fucking try something. I felt like a gun owner. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, so try and rob me now, motherfucker. This is not a productive line of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'll find that the people for guns are very, very rooted in their beliefs. And there's many more of them. <laughs> and they have guns. And they have guns. So I've <laughs> given up on having opinions on guns. Oh, anyway. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. 
Totally. I'm so excited to murder someone if they <laughs> enter my house. Yeah. Ugh. Rob me. I can't wait for someone to rob me. Oh, I'm just looking forward to killing you for having the gall to break into my home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no power to exercise in other aspects of my life. I've been, uh, I've been fundamentally enslaved by the system in which we live. Oh, my code is more my brutal than My dreams have been Robbie's. manipulated. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little lizard people ranty there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but I like doing that sometimes. It's fun. Oh, Whoa, God. Jesus. Uh-oh, things are getting purple. What's with all the pushy architecture around here? Well, the access is denied. Yeah. I need some upgrades. There you go. Get a card key. When in doubt and in a Japanese-made game, get a card key. It's true. Ugh. That's not just me, right? They, it seems like they like card keys a lot more than Yeah, I mean, I have else. one for work. Oh. Oh, my God. Holy crap, the music just got awesome in here. Oh, never mind. That was a deceptive fill. It got, yeah, it got uh, Metal Gear Solid in here. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it didn't get like that. Snacking on a tree frog. Uh, okay. Sometimes you eat the tree frog. So, no, it's someday you, you snack on a tree frog. Someday you snack on a tree frog. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, Bring it, me the disco king. I mean, the words make sense, but it, uh, I don't understand <laughs> And yet why. They, they leave so yeah. many questions unanswered. I always uh, want to start climbing these walls. Right? Oh, we should stop. Is this an 18 minute episode? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's, that would be something. It's only 13, but we should oh. stop. Alright, next time on As I Play Dying, 10 additional minutes of this game. Ha!